Hi friends, this is Miss Anne here at the Warminster Township Free Library, and welcome back to another Take and Make. Um, this is our April flower craft. Um, you'll notice it looks a little different than um, what we were initially going for. Uh, sometimes when you do these crafts, they kind of they morph into something new. Um, so it kind of turned into like something that you can hang, which is really awesome. But we're going to show you guys how to make this, as well as some alternatives for those of you who don't have the supplies. So let's get started. First, we're going to talk about those supplies, um, what you might need uh, in order to do this craft. If you picked up a kit at the library, the kit's going to include these nine colorful strips of paper. Um, they're about one inch and they range, I think, uh, to like maybe 11 or 12 inches long. Um, you'll also have a yellow strip of paper that's going to be kind of the center of your flower. Uh, you'll also have one yellow circle, uh, a pipe cleaner, but for those of you who might be doing it on their, on your own, you can also supplement a green strip of paper, but if you're going to use that strip of paper, that green strip of paper, kind of the same size as the yellow one um, shown here, uh, what you'll also need is a piece of construction paper to glue your, uh, your flower onto. Um, you'll need two leaves, two green leaves um, are also included in the kit. Um, optional, you don't need to add them if you don't want to, but um, I did for this craft. And then uh, things that you'll need to provide on your own, glue, scissors, it's not listed here, it's optional, it's tape, it's, it is helpful for when you're um, util utilizing the pipe cleaner. Okay, so these are the things that we include in our kit, and then um, feel free to uh, do this on your own as well with really all you need is construction paper, different colors of construction paper in order to do this, as well as the scissors and glue. So the step one, um, you know, if you picked up a kit is to cut the strips of paper in half. So we gave you nine, you're going to cut them in half. Um, and if you're doing this on your own at home, you will cut out those strips of paper. And you want them to be, you know, about one inch by like four to five inches. Now they don't need to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination, just do the best that you can. Step two is to fold all of those pieces in half. Um, so I did the first nine and then you do the second nine. Um, and you should have a total of 18 strips of paper folded in half the way that you see here. You may not need to use all of those strips, but it's good to have more too much rather than too little. So step three, using nine, so half of those folded pieces, you're going to glue them around the circle. So on the perimeter, so around the edge of the circle. And so that's going to kind of look like this. And they're going to overlap in this way. So you kind of overlap each piece. Um, you glue them down um, in that kind of way. Then the next step is to uh, glue the fold down too. So it kind of creates these little petals. And again, you're laying, layering them on top of one another. So it should look a little like this um, when you've completed this step. So again, we're doing all the glue. If you're using a glue stick, it'll kind of stay down a lot quicker. Um, I used Elmer's glue, so sometimes it would pop back up. Just add a little pressure. But it's going to look like this around the perimeter. So with the remaining folded strips, you're going to glue them inside, kind of, of what you've already did. So you kind of have the outside, and now you kind of bring it a little bit closer inside, and you do the exact same thing. My recommendation is to um, kind of glue them in between the other two, and it kind of looks like this. So you're kind of gluing them um, in between um, the older, other folded pieces that you've already glued down. Uh, to kind of create that look of petals. And you do the exact same thing that you did in the earlier steps. Um, you glue them around and then you glue down the fold. Uh, when doing step five and six, it's best to put the strips in between the outer ones, as I mentioned, so that it kind of overlaps and you can see all of the different strips of paper. So step seven is to roll up the yellow strip of paper. Uh, this will serve as your 
flowers center. Now, I've shown in previous crafts how to do this. You can use a pencil and you put it there and then you just roll up the piece of paper. Um, let me see if I have a picture of what it should look like. It kind of looks like that. You just kind of roll it, you can roll it around your finger, um, you know, however you want to roll up that yellow strip of paper. That's going to kind of come off the page. Um, and again, it serves as your flower's center. So step eight, you're going to glue down the center where all the strips of paper meet right in the center. Um, this one is, is best if you use a white glue. So sometimes you might want to use craft glue if you have that. White glue is better in this application. And uh, you would add it down. You want a generous amount um, before moving on. So the hardest step of any of these projects is letting things wait. Um, my recommendation is to definitely let everything dry before you tackle the next step because we're gonna it's going to require you to turn everything over. So my recommendation is let everything dry. It might take a little while to dry, but you probably don't need a full day, just a couple of hours. And especially the center of the flower, which could be done at the end as well. If you didn't want to wait, you wanted to move on, perhaps you'd want to wait on the center of the flower because that's the most delicate um, portion of this um, you know, project uh, when it comes to the next few steps. Step 10 is we're going to glue down the green pipe cleaner. So I mentioned that initially this was supposed to look like a flower with a stem. Well, when I used the pipe cleaner, I realized that obviously that wasn't going to hold something that was this dense. You would need to glue it down onto a piece of paper. And sometimes when you take, do a craft, you realize there's a better way to do this. And I learned, wait a minute, I'll turn this into something hanging, like a hanging flower. You could hang it. Um, on a doorknob, you can hang it outside on a doorknob, um, a little hanger anywhere. And I thought, oh, that was way more fun. Um, so let's do that. Um, but if you had that, if you wanted to, you could just glue the pipe cleaner straight down and adding those, um, you know, the flower detail, the uh, stem details, the leaves. Um, but I recommend definitely gluing that down onto a piece of paper. So what I did is I glued the pipe cleaner um, and the green paper onto the back. So with the pipe cleaner, uh, we chose to turn this into a hangable flower and I just kind of turned it into kind of a, a U shape. And then I start, I glued that down. So I glued that U shape on the back and step 11 is to glue the leaves down. Um, you can put the leaves wherever you want, really. Um, you can choose not to put the leaves if you don't think that that looks good. I did another version of this initially and I didn't have the leaves and it looked really great too. So if you decide that you don't want to add the leaves, you don't have to. Um, step 10 is where you might want to use tape. Um, you know, you can add the glue and then maybe reinforce it with a little bit of tape just to keep it down um, while it dries. Step 12. Um, let everything dry one last time before you hang and enjoy everything, okay? And so that's what it looked like when it was completely dry and ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have more videos like these, craft videos um, from the last year to two years. So if you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. And we hope to see you very soon here at the Warminster Township Free Library.